Have you ever wondered why some people seem to be very easily provoked even when you don't do anything bad to them? If you made any kind of mistake, then the person who got provoked would certainly have an excuse even if your mistake was trivial. But what about people who seem to get provoked for nothing? In this video, I will share with you 7 reasons why some people are easily provoked. 1. They have serious insecurities. We all have insecurities. After all, we are imperfect humans. But some people have serious insecurities that force them to interpret every action and comment in the wrong way. Those people will always get provoked simply because they will see a different version of reality based on their own faulty interpretation. People who have serious trust issues might try to find a bad meaning behind every innocent action that people do. People with serious trust issues are very likely to interpret your words or actions incorrectly just because they believe you have bad intentions. A practical example is a mother's outburst whenever someone of the opposite sex visits her daughter or a possessive man's reaction when he sees his partner merely chattering and laughing with another male, who may even be a family member. 2. They have been seriously broken before. If a person was seriously hurt before in such a way that they never recovered from them, they will become extremely sensitive to any threat later on. In such a case, this person might interpret many of your innocent words as threats and so they might get provoked easily. One common example of hurt that can trigger easy provocation is grief. Grief can be an overwhelming emotion that is often associated with hardship, pain and personal loss. Grief can stem from the death of friends, loved ones, partners, family members or even a pet. Grief can also be caused by other hardships including professional or personal disappointment, the loss of a job, physical injury or even current events. When you are overwhelmed by grief, it can quickly turn towards anger. Grieving people are often frustrated by the cruelty and unfairness of the world, angry that a future they had envisioned is no longer possible, and upset with people who aren't able to understand and sympathize with their suffering. Furthermore, any time a situation that led to their grief arises in the future, they react in an extremely aggressive manner to avoid repetition. 3. They suffer from ACP. ACP is the short term for anger control problems. According to a study of 1,300 people who were seeking treatment of mental health, the clinic found that ACP was just as prevalent as depression and anxiety for that group of people. If this rate holds true for the general population, it would mean that millions of people around the world are affected by ACP. People with anger control problems ACP, often quickly react in aggressive ways when they feel insulted, wronged or injured especially when they think they are being treated unfairly. Everyone gets angry sometimes. This is normal and sometimes even necessary and helpful. However, people with ACP often react in a way that is more intense and aggressive than what is needed in the situation. Some of them may even physically hurt themselves or the other people around them. When someone is struggling with ACP, it's readily noticed. The person gets angry very easily, frequently and with great intensity and may remain angry for as long as an entire day. 4. Lack of good sense of humor Have you ever made a joke that got people angry, not because it was an offensive joke but because they just did not understand what you meant? Well, often, people who like to joke around get into trouble with others who are not humorous and people who are not humorous are so quick to get provoked if they are not around individuals with a healthy sense of humor. With the busyness and stress of our everyday life, having a good sense of humor is paramount. 5. Feeling powerless Another common cause of easy provocation is powerlessness. This feeling is often associated with a loss of control and feeling of helplessness. Nobody likes to be in a position where they feel helpless. These people may react with aggressiveness when stuck in situations that are beyond their control. For instance, if you are suffering from issues with your health, struck in an abusive relationship or even just feeling trapped or just had a major failure, you might tend to get aggressive response to issues beyond your control. Be proactive rather than provocative. If you have a health issue and are frustrated with having to deal with it, then try to be proactive in learning about your condition and how to treat it or live with it. If you are in an abusive relationship, gather up the courage and call it quits. If you do not find a way to manage that situation that makes you feel helpless, it will mess your mental health and you may likely start to experience anger control problems ACP. 6. They have past traumatic experiences A traumatic or painful experience can have long-lasting effects even if you think you've moved on from the event. Memories of past trauma can trigger anxiety, frustration and even extreme anger outbursts. For instance, a lady who was raped when she was still very young may grow up being bitter 
and hating the opposite sex. Worse still, if she was defiled by someone close to her, she may even detest her own siblings and her partner if she even agrees to have one. If she manages to get married, she may extend that hatred to her son and act aggressively towards him. Until she can heal from past trauma, she will continue to be easily provoked by any person of the opposite sex. To properly resolve past trauma, it's always a good idea to seek the help of a professional. Counseling services can help you navigate negative emotions, control excessive anger, and develop strategies for coping with painful or triggering circumstances. 7. They are afraid of change. Imagine getting into a religious conversation that is quite sentimental with his religious beliefs. If you try to point out obvious errors in his belief system, they would never agree to it. Instead, he might get angry and even attempt to attack you physically. Humans are generally overprotective of their beliefs. We hold on to what we were taught as kids, so much so that change seems so scary. So when we find that someone is discussing our beliefs either directly or indirectly, they might freak out and get provoked. Some people might actually consider simple statements to be a direct attack on their core beliefs and so they get provoked easily. If you have these kinds of persons in your life and you are confided about how to handle them or you just want to help them, the first thing you must do is to try to understand them, find out the root cause of their provocative action because you can't deal with a specific human behavior before you know the kind of intention they had when they did that behavior.